good. All right, so I'm a big Laker fan, and I want to know, does Lamar spray this before the game? Talking to you. Um, before the game? Yeah. Not too much because I don't want to be on the court. I don't want to be on the court smelling too good. You know what I mean? Somebody, they might think I'm soft. There's nothing but, wrong with smelling good. <laughs> after the game, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely after the game. Okay. I can't get enough of it. All right. Awesome. Also, I have a friend. She just had a baby two weeks ago and she named him Lamar wow. because she's such a big fan. Wow. So if you guys were to have a boy or a girl, what would you guys name him? Um, a boy, his name will be. Well, already has the name. Luke Joseph. Joseph. That's Luke nice. Joseph. Luke Joseph. That's yeah. nice. And his son's name is already Lamar, so that one's taken. Yeah. And, <laughs> and if it's a girl. It's a girl. She likes London. I like other names, but he doesn't like any of the names that I like. You like London. London. She likes Lola. I'm like. No. Lola's a pretty name. <laughs> I Lola's. like Lola. I can see it on a jersey. Yeah, Lola? I'm not really feeling Lola. Hey, Lamar, long time no see. How you doing? I know you've had a busy day, and uh, I know you've, you've talked a lot about how you know, you're know you used to all this, but how do you fit everything? How do you, what's the key to that? Um, this one right here is like the best coach I've ever had, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was like, no way. Well. Well. No. something else. I'm wearing, I'm wearing, she just takes I'm wearing Unbreakable. Oh, yeah. Can you tell? It's the whole fam. Can you tell I'm wearing Unbreakable? Courtney, I haven't smelled you long. But um, this one over here, man. Like, like, really impressed. Like, they mentioned, like, you're, like, harshest critic, and they, they thought that, like, you even surpassed your own expectations, Harry. As far as what? As far as how you can be able to handle all this, and it looks like you have with this. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. It was, it was, it's one, it's probably the, one of the best, um, like, motivating factors I've had in a long time in, in my career, because, like, to do this, I couldn't let my play slack you know what I'm saying and I think playing in the world championships this summer and going through what I had to go through I think it kind of prepared me for everything and, you know, being at my best while I'm tired you know it kind of it kind of helped and you know the, the family of competitive people Second row, second row, second row, second row. And everybody look at right here for me. Aww. Everybody one time up top, please. Straight ahead. Everybody straight. Right. 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 Having the balance in his life and you know, married to you. What's your perspective with just how everything's gone for him? Um, you know, I, I mean, people say, oh, he's doing so well since he married you. And if he was doing bad, they would say, oh, he sucks because of you. I have nothing to do with if he plays well or doesn't play well. It's just, you know, I do think that Lamar is an amazing basketball player, and I think he's always had it in it. I just think he's always had so many other things that were on his shoulders that he couldn't, you know, now it's like, I'm the wife, I'll take care of whatever. And I'll, I only want him to focus on basketball. I'm going to handle the rest. So I don't think he's ever had that before.